This is Renee from Tridea Partners, and today I'm going to show you how to use the batch recovery window. This window allows you to continue posting batches that may have been interrupted during posting or did not post all the way through due to data entry mistakes. First, let's take a look at the navigation to this window. We can access this window in one of two ways. You can either go to Microsoft Dynamics GP, Tools, Routines, and then batch recovery. Or, alternatively, we can click on the administration tab on the left hand side here, go to routines, and then batch recovery. And this takes me to the exact same screen. Over here I have a filter by series, so if I wanted to look specifically at financial batches to recover, I could do that. And then down here in the grid below, I have my batch ID, my origin, which tells me where this batch originated from, in this instance the financial module in the general entry window, and the status, which tells me specifically why my batch did not post through. So in this example, my status reads transaction error edit required, and what this tells me is that in my transaction, I have a data entry error that needs to be corrected before GP will allow me to post. Some common mistakes that are made are a missing account number, posting to a closed period, or having unbalanced credits and debits. So what I need to do here now is I need to bring this batch back to the general entry window so that I can make the appropriate edits. And in order to do that, I need to select the checkbox here, and then I'm going to click continue to send this batch back to the general entry window. So now I'm going to go ahead and click continue, and now we'll see that the batch has disappeared and I can go back to the general entry screen, so I'm going to go to financial, and then I'm going to go to batches, click on this lookup icon, and we'll see that my batch is now available for me again. Now what I'm going to do next to determine what errors I need to correct is I'm going to print something called a batch edit list, and I'm going to do this by clicking on this printer icon on the top right. I'm going to select to print to screen, and this report is going to pull up showing me the distributions of my transactions in this particular batch. It will also show me any error messages in this batch that would prevent my batch from posting through. So here we see it says, this source document is invalid, please select another, and we have the same message down here. So what this tells me is, within my transaction, my source document here is invalid. So I happen to know that this source document is not yet set up in GP. So if I scroll here, I'll see that there's no source document for FA. So what I'm going to do to fix that issue is I'm just going to create the FA source document. And I'm going to call it fixed asset posting. I'm going to save. And now this should resolve my error. So I'm going to save this transaction, and then I'm going to try to post my batch again. This time, if I return to the batch recovery window, I should notice that this specific batch is no longer showing up there. So if we go to Microsoft Dynamics GP, tools, routines, and batch recovery. We'll see that the batch is no longer showing up here, which means it's successfully posted through without errors this time. For more tips and tricks, feel free to visit Tridea's online blog or contact us at the email both listed below. Thanks for listening.